The BMC seems to be completely hung, and though both the Sh uh, Shiv Sena and the BJP are saying that they can perhaps get enough support from independents, it isn't clear how that will happen. They are at least 20 seats short of the majority mark. So the logical solution then is perhaps for the estranged partners to get back together, and there are some signs that that is exactly what will happen. With a hung verdict in Mumbai, both the Shiv Sena and the BJP stepped up their claims of support from independents. Shiv Sena said two independents, Nihal More and Tulsi Das Shinde, made them 86, but still far from the 114 halfway mark. The BJP made a counterclaim of the support of three independents, taking it to 85. But both parties were no longer attacking each other. <laughs> But how did the BJP manage its spectacular rise from 32 to 82 seats in Mumbai? Largely by wooing the non Marathi vote, which is a sizable 70%. Banker turned corporator Vinod Mishra from UP's Azamgarh is one of the 12 BJP corporators from the North Indian community. Then they also got in campaigners like Yogi Adityanath and Manoj Tiwari to get the 26% UP migrant vote. Insiders told NDTV how other communities like South Indian voters who were averse to voting for Sena had no problems now voting for BJP. North Indians, including UPIs, Biharis, Madhya Pradeshis, along with Gujaratis, South Indians and a major chunk of Marathi vote, they all voted for the BJP. So this rainbow alliance has helped BJP win 82 seats in the BMC. And despite demonetization, the Gujarati voter that dominates Mumbai's trading community stayed loyal to the BJP and ensured the win of 23 corporators. Clearly, the BJP held on to its own traditional vote base in Mumbai and also made new political inroads in the city. With camera person Harmeet Singh Sansoy in Mumbai, this is Anand Zanane for NDTV.